For too long, there haven't been any advances in the field of OCD treatment. For over 20 years, we've had the same uh, treatment constructs. And, and what Biohaven's focused on is trying to bring forward a new treatment, a novel treatment. The genesis of our OCD program really was within the uh, Yale uh, academic clinics. So I was a very young researcher at the time, just leaving my residency that I completed uh, at Yale. And I began to run uh, the Yale Neuroscience Research Unit. So as we looked at the pathophysiology of the disorder, it quickly became apparent that in OCD, there's a hyperactive electrical loop in the cortex, the striatum, and the thalamus, the CST loop. That loop happens to be heavily innervated by glutamate. So we believe that if we directly modulated that loop with uh, glutamate agents, uh, we might actually improve the, the, the treatment for patients with OCD. And we were surprised to see that um, after treating just a few patients, we saw beneficial effects. And it was really those clinical observations that then had us uh, pursue a whole line of research focused on glutamate modulators for patients with OCD. Trigrizol is the product of seven years of chemistry work, and it's a prodrug that allows patients to get the therapeutic levels that they need of Arilizol. And the team here really is working uh, nights and weekends to make that a, a reality. Biohaven is a uh, local biotech startup that began first here in New Haven, Connecticut, and spun out of uh, research originally at Yale University, but then incorporates that academic background and expertise with large pharma drug development uh, experience as well. So Biohaven really represents the best of academia and the best of pharmaceutical drug development. By individuals participating in this study, they're not only potentially benefiting themselves uh, in Biohaven, but they'll be um, benefiting future generations of patients. Whether or not trigrilizol works or not in OCD, we will advance the field together. We're all hopeful that it will work for patients, but if it doesn't, together we're learning more about this illness, we're educating other scientists about it, and we're increasing our knowledge base uh, that one day we hope will lead to a cure for OCD.